<clears throat> Good morning. Welcome to Enlightened Hearts. I'm Naoma. I'll be your reader today. If you don't know me, this message is a collective message. This is for um, those who resonate. So take what fits and leave the rest for somebody else. <clears throat> if it doesn't make you feel good or if it makes you question yourself in any sort of way, then it's not for you. These messages are meant to confirm <clears throat> what you already know. So first off, to start this reading out, when trying to ask, well, I wasn't trying, but asking Spirit what the collective needed to know today, we've got the Bardo, Agape, the King, Gnosis, and the Maiden from the Wild Unknown Archetypes deck. Now, I've already kind of looked into this a little bit. Um, for some of you, this is talking about, remember yesterday's video, yesterday's video we talked about um, coming into the frequency of your divine partner, being in that frequency of love in order to become magnetic and attract them in. For others of you, this is about the chosen ones. The 144,000. And what I'm seeing here is about, for the 144, this is about stepping into the secret place to pray quietly. Matthew 6.6. 6, 6, 6, 6 being confirmation. Matthew could even be confirmation for somebody. So take what resonates. Listen to the whole message. This is about going into the secret place to pray to the Father as a young awakened soul who just started their journey. This is the ultimate love and the ultimate knowledge and that was how I came to 144,000. So let's see what spirit has to say about this spirit. Tell me more. Um, tell me more about this message, please. Five swords. Ooh, let me turn the light on. I don't care how good my eyes get. That light still is jarring. All right, Five of Swords. Justice. Three of Cups. So, there's a celebration for some justice that's happening in your life. And this justice has to do with this five of swords, conflict, arguing. There's a reason to celebrate here because justice has been called. Interesting. Spirit, tell me why justice was called for this five of swords. Two of pentacles. Two of wands. Page of cups. Eight of swords. Ten of pentacles. So you go from the two of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Why was justice called?
for some of you, this justice has to do with um, an unbalanced mindset. Like you're arguing with yourself. <clears throat> you're arguing with yourself. Uh, by the way, this is more water and, um, well, now we've got air involved, so let me just, let me keep going. This is a imbalance of thoughts. This is incorrect thoughts. This is breaking, yeah, that's exactly what this is. This is breaking the chains of societal norms, breaking the bonds that were held in slavery by the, um, institutions. There's a reason to celebrate here because you're breaking the stigma against, uh, modern Christian, uh, faith. You're breaking free from your cage. You're growing your wings. And this is bringing you to the point of Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is you breaking free from the institutions. And that's a reason to celebrate. There's also a message of love here. But this is that agape love, the ultimate love, the total, um, the unconditional love, the love that God and Christ feel for us. Because we're the chosen. And you've broken free. You've also got 2-2 two, two here and 11. So, 2-2, two, two, 11, 11, 11, 1, 11. These are numbers that you could be seeing a lot. Spirit, what else do you want the collective to know today? Wow, 8 of Cups, 9 of Cups, 8 to the 9 of Cups. You broke free and you're walking right into your destiny. Ladybugs, blue, blue, blue dry, uh, ladybugs, dragonflies, and blue butterflies, and swans. You're walking into your emotional fulfillment. An emotional fulfillment is a a relationship with the Most High. Two of Cups, two, 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 Ten of Swords. The emotional burden that we go through collectively as 144,000 chosen ones. The emotional burden that we go through is terrible. First, we're raised by the rod. because our parents think they need to beat us into submission to fit in with the rest of society. And then we're thrown into this building that they call a church 
although they're ignoring the original meaning of the word ecclesia. So they throw us into this building that they call a church. They brainwash us into believing that God resides there and we have to go every Sunday and pay homage and <clears throat> give 10% of our income to these people with the false message. It's a slave system. So first we're told to endure that our whole lives and then we wake up. And then we wake up and we realize that that building isn't preaching hope and love. They may be saying all the words, but the frequency and intent do not align. I mean, Jesus even said, like, I knock and no door opens, like, you left me out in the cold. No one's answering the door for Christ, not in that building, not at all. So, you're releasing that burden, and you're awake now with the Ace of Wands. This is a new energy. This is a new frequency. This is you coming out of the Bardo. You're coming out of the place of transition. You're no longer stuck in limbo. Gaining knowledge. Understanding what agape means. And agape, agape is the love that we all have for the collective. Watch any of the other tarot readers out there, especially the ones that I'm sharing, that Nova Lux Tarot is sharing. Listen to 144 from the stars. This is, this is the Christ consciousness love. Screw all the other bullshit out there on the internet. You want the real. It, yeah. So you may have tasted some of this spiritual path, but you are now free to explore what it really is. New Age is bullshit. Christian is bullshit. Muslim is bullshit. If you're following a book while well, all the books have basis in truth, and this is the knowledge that you're coming into, right? Oh, they're giving me the tingles. Um, every single one of the Bibles has a flavor of truth to it. But the prophets, and I'm talking all the prophets, the Muslim prophets, even even Muslim, the Muslim faith stems from the Hebrews and the Jews. Abraham is the father to both. Every single prophet, every single prophet spoke truth, but they hid it. They hid it in the dark so that way us of the light could find it later. Because it's the same story throughout time. Gobegli Tepe, which is in Turkey, is at least 12,000 years old. And there is a creation story just like the Sumerian Enuma Elish just like the biblical Adam and Eve, just like the, just like the, they're all the same. They're all the same. But the Catholic Church wants you to think that Adam and Eve was the only real story. If it's all the same, it came from the same source. Everybody's got a different flavor. All right, so you're stepping out of that and you're stepping into this new 
a wave of energy where you're you're in it babe you are in it ace of wands yeah two 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 um <coughs> The only one that's not out here, two of pentacles, two of cups, we've got the two of swords, it's the two, is the two of wands out here? Are all the twos out? Two of cups, two of pentacles. Ace of Wands. All right, so we've got fresh eyes and fresh energy and a new way of thinking. This fish in the cup with the Page of Cups reminds me of... Uh, when Jesus said, cast the net and be fishers of men. All right, seven of wands. What else, spirit? Ten of swords. Again, ten, ten. This is, this is a, um... Oh, shit. Let me keep going. Okay, what else? Page of Cups. <laughs> Six of Cups, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. Um, mm. this tells me that as a child, you argued even with your parents about what God is. I'm going to give you an example. When I was 15 and I started looking into Wicca and the pagan religions, Druidry, Dru I, I don't know if that's the right word, Sh uh, shamans and Druids and dragons, and I was looking into all of that fun, pagan, esoteric stuff. And it was like the age, the dawning, it was the dawning of the internet. So, um, when I was looking into all of that, and keep in mind that my parents were divorced at the time, and my dad um, came from a pretty staunch Southern Baptist background. We grew, me and my brothers grew up outside of Philly and Harrisburg. Um, like we lived in between the two in Pennsylvania. Um, but my mom's from here and I'm near the Outer Banks in Carolina. Um, so my mom's from here. My dad was from Missouri. He grew up and was born and raised in Missouri. So he came from a pretty staunch Southern Baptist background, and my mom has a complicated relationship with the Methodist Church. <laughs> like I said yesterday, mom's a very young soul. But, um, anyway, when I started looking into all of that, 15, 16 years old, my father literally started an argument with me in my grandparents' driveway um, about how none of that shit's real. Um, even he didn't 
believe in the existence of a higher power, but there toward the end, my grandmother called him a agnostic. I think that was just a funny way of her saying that my dad was an atheist, but there at the end, my dad claimed he was Jewish because he didn't think that Christ was the Messiah. He has a different understanding of that now, but I digress. Um, anyway, so that's the kind of feeling that I get, that as a child you were ostracized for believing something different than the mainstream. And you had to, uh, like, defend yourself. And you felt defeated. You felt defeated and heartbroken because of that. I can resonate. I feel like you're coming into this, though, with fresh eyes. You're going to have to let go of a lot of, um, you're going to have to give up a lot of what you learned in church, though. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot. Yeah, this is incredible mental fortitude. This is willpower and determination to reap the rewards for the work that you've done. This is your new journey. New beginning. Just because it's the Oracle deck that I can reach right now. Um, actually, let's go here. I lied. I don't lie. I just forget shit. Okay, so this is your new journey. This is your new beginning. Welcome. Welcome. If you have a channel, post it in the comments. I will happily share it for you. Um, send me an email. Send me whatever. You got questions, comments, concerns, whatever. I'm a wide open book. Um, there's not a whole lot that Spirit doesn't let me say anymore. There used to be a time whenever I would... Um, read people's energy and start talking to them about things that spirit would shut me down and most of that was because my knowledge basis back then was limited and somehow after I had my stroke it's um, I'm wide open what do you want to know I tell you so this is your new journey this is you stepping into the warrior leader role with me and the rest of the 144,000. All right, spirit, what can we close this reading off with for the collective? Thank you. Remember that we're here on earth as a learning tool. These are lessons that our soul has to go through. <clears throat> and time's not running out. You have all the time that you need to go through this. Um, I feel like some of you are probably exhausted at all times. <laughs> like you sleep for 12, 13, 14 hours and you wake up exhausted. I feel that. <clears throat> um, 
you go to bed at seven o'clock at night, you wake up at three o'clock in the morning and you just want to go back to bed. I feel that. If you're not dreaming, I beg to differ. Um, many of us right now are going through, um, we're having ascension downloads, but we're also like in astral school where spirit is teaching us about our new gifts and abilities. And we're not remembering our dreams because it's kind of like a dog. We have to integrate that information and let it become part of us on a cellular level. When dogs learn new behaviors, we stress them out to the point that their brain almost doesn't function anymore. And while they're sleeping, they're integrating those lessons. And then that way, the next time, that lesson's been learned. That's what we're going through here um, right now. Just understand that you've been called to this mission. You're a light worker. You're an empath. You're um, an intuitive, a psychic, an intuitive healer even. Reiki, like I'm a Reiki one. I'm Reiki one. Okay, so there is something that you have been called to do um, outside of earth school something in the astral that you're supposed to be doing and you're going through training right now you're birthing this new creation you're helping to birth new earth with the rest of us protect what's here so that it can be birthed in. The stars are calling us. I see a lot of pink. This is a lot of love coming toward you. A lot. <laughs> Agape. This is the ultimate unconditional love. And your ancestors, your star ancestors, are sending you love also. Double mission. Lightworker star seed. Serve the world by being you. Continue to be authentic. Continue to live and be your truth. This is how you can inspire people right now just by being you. Just by being you. All right. That's my message for today. I love you guys. It's hump day. <laughs> I don't even know how it got to that point. Today's Wednesday. Um, I believe it's the 30th. <clears throat> the 30th of May. So, we're almost in June. And I love you guys. I cannot express that enough. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.